Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. And today I wanna to show you guys how to run Raspbian from a USB drive on your Raspberry Pi. Now this will work with the Pi 1, 2, 3, or 0, as long as you have the optional connectors for the Raspberry Pi 0. If you have a 0, you know what I'm talking about. Now we do need a few applications to install. I will link them in the description and I'll also show you right now how to download them and everything. It's super simple and they're all free and no viruses and anything. Um, you do need an SD card and a USB drive. You will still need to use your SD card to boot from. We are going to install Raspbian on the USB drive but the Raspberry Pi does not have a traditional BIOS, so it still needs an SD card to boot from. But as soon as we are booted up into Raspbian, you are running everything from the USB drive. You can use a USB drive as small as, I think under one gigabyte will work. I don't have anything under 16 gigabytes, so I'm using a SanDisk or a Samsung Evo 16 gigabyte SD card. And my USB drive is a SanDisk Ultra 64 gigabyte USB 3.0 drive, which does, um, they're pretty cheap, and the write and read speed are amazing on it. Now, running from a USB drive, Raspbian will load applications faster and be a lot more stable. And in general, if you have a USB drive laying around that's bigger than your SD card, you can just install it on your USB drive and have more storage. Let's get started here. We're going to need to open up your browser and you're going to need to go to raspberrypi.org forward slash downloads forward slash. The link is in the description. We're going to need to download Raspbian. Now you can download the zip or the torrent. I've already got mine downloaded. Next thing we'll need is Win32 Disk Imager. Now this is a Go to software for installing any OS on the Raspberry Pi for me. I use a Windows machine to install all of my OS's and Win32 Disk Imager is my go to application. It's free to download, no viruses, super simple to use and a quick install. Next thing we're going to need is SD card formatter. Now this will allow you to format your SD card. If you ever want to go back um, to use your SD card, let's say in a Android phone or in a camera or just flash another image to it you are going to need to format with SD card formatter now SD card formatter works with will format your SD card to fat 32 that's the format we need and this will work up to a 32 gigabyte now if you have anything bigger than a 32 gigabyte we're going to need to download fat 32 format now this is amazing um, this will format any drive to FAT32. So if you have a SDXC card, usually they come formatted at EXFAT, but we need them to be FAT32 and this will allow us to format to FAT32. So with all of that said, I have my SD card here and I have my USB drive here. I have already formatted my SD card to FAT32 and I have my USB drive formatted to FAT32. I used the FAT32 formatter to format my USB drive and I used SD card formatter to format my SD card. After you download Raspbian, you need to, it comes in a zipped file here. We need to extract it and it should look something like this, a disk image file. So after you have all of this downloaded and your USB drive and your SD card formatted correctly, we're gonna open up Win32 Disk Imager. Now from here, the drive letter is what you're going to be flashing to. So make sure you are flashing the Raspbian image to your USB drive. Now my USB drive is letter I, so I need to switch my drive letter here to I. I'm going to click my, just make sure that you are definitely flashing to the USB drive. I'm going to click my blue folder icon and I'm going to navigate to where I extracted 
my Raspbian image. And we're going to click right. This could take a while depending on the speed of your flash drive, your PC, and your USB port. Just be patient. It will finish. It can take up to 15 minutes sometimes. Click right. We'll get a warning. Yes. Raspbian is done installing to my USB drive. We still have a few more things to do before we move to the Raspberry Pi. We'll go ahead and close out Win32 Disk Imager. I'm going to open up a file explorer. I'm going to snap my window over here and open up my USB drive. This is the freshly flashed USB drive. It should now be named boot. And I'm going to open up my SD card in another window and snap it here. Now we need to rename our SD card to boot also. And it may go uppercase. This should be fine. My SD card is F my USB drive is drive letter I. We're going to take everything out of the freshly flashed USB drive and copy it to the SD card. Now make sure we're editing the SD card. You want to go to CMD line, right click, and I use, I edit all of my notes with Notepad++, but this should work with the stock Windows Notepad if you do not have Notepad++. From here, we're just going to find the line which says MMCBLK0P2, and we're going to change this line to SDA2. We're going to save the file. We're going to close out. Now we can take our USB drive that we flash Raspy into and our SD card that we put our boot files from the USB drive in the Raspberry Pi, boot the Raspberry Pi up. Now we're going to have to open up terminal. In the description below, I have uploaded a file to Dropbox that you can download. It contains everything you need to do this. So don't worry if you're going too fast with the video, just follow the instructions on the text file. We're going to the Raspberry Pi now. You should now be booted into the Raspbian desktop. If you did everything correctly, you should be booted. If you got a warning, you did not follow a step correctly and you may want to retry because this does work. Um, I have my SD card and my USB drive plugged into the Raspberry Pi. I also have a mouse and keyboard connected. What we're going to do is open up terminal and we're going to go into F disk. We're going to delete partition, create a new partition, rename a few things and we should be ready to go. As of right now, it is not working correctly from your USB drive. We need to make it work correctly. In the description below, like I mentioned before, I have a text file that you can download from Dropbox that has everything we are about to do. And it'll just be easy for you to look back on the text file instead of trying to pause the video if you're going at a slower pace. So let's get started. We're going to go to Menu, Accessories, terminal. From the terminal here, we're going to type in sudo fdisk space forward slash dev forward slash sda. Press enter. We are now in fdisk, which is a disk utility built into Linux. We're going to press P for partition, D for delete. 2 for the second partition, N for a new partition, P for primary, 2 for the second, and from here we need to look back and find our SDA2 and this number right here should be typed in. So mine is one three one zero seven two. 
press enter, press enter again, W, enter. Now we are going to reboot. You can reboot from the menu here, or we can just type in sudo reboot and press enter. You are now rebooted to the desktop once again. We have a few more things we need to do. So we'll go back to menu, accessories, terminal. And from the terminal, we are going to type in sudo resize 2fs space forward slash dev forward slash sda2. Press enter. So we just resized our USB drive to use the full capacity of the drive. We can check that by typing in df space h. And as you can see at the top, our dev root is 58 gigabytes. We only have 3.3 used and available is 52. Now we need to type in sudo blkid press enter and we need to find our sda2 uuid and this is this long number right here so go ahead and copy this number do not copy the quotation marks right click copy few more things guys we're almost done sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash f stab press enter from this menu you will have to navigate with your arrow keys on your keyboard from here we want to change the mmcblk0p2 to the uuid we just copied Paste, control X, Y for yes, and enter. Now I, re I recommend rebooting one more time, so I'm gonna sudo reboot. You are now booting from your USB drive. Now the reason we changed the um, boot name to the UUID of our flash drive is because all these flash drives have a unique identification number. And if I was to plug another flash drive or hard drive into this unit and try to reboot, it would tell me I have an error because the operating system is not on my flash drive that I have plugged in, you know, my other flash drive. So we want to boot from the original flash drive that you flashed your Rasp Raspbian image to. And that is your UUID that we just entered. Now you can plug in a 500 gigabyte hard drive after you reboot, everything will be fine. Your hard drive will show up, but go to your file manager and write down here, free space, 51.6 gigabytes. I am going to install GIMP really quick just to show you a performance increase. Okay, so I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. This is a Raspberry Pi 3 that I'm on now. Um, to install GIMP, sudo apt get install GIMP. We'll read the package list and ask us if we really want to install GIMP. Yes. I'll fast forward this for you. All right. Yeah, so this tutorial was actually brought to me by a viewer of mine, and I do appreciate it. It's Marshall Akers Jr. He showed me how to do this and also install Ubuntu Mate on a USB drive. I've been running Ubuntu Mate from a USB drive for the past two days and it is amazing like it's a whole nother machine um, it's pretty great now that I have GIMP installed we'll just open it up 
And if you don't have your USB set up like this and you tried to open up GIMP, it can take forever, guys. I mean, it can take a while to open up GIMP. Now, this is a this is like Photoshop, I guess. Now, I used to use this before I was able to get Photoshop. And now that it is running from a USB drive, it is so much faster. I mean, it is. So I'll go here and I'll leave GIMP open. Now, this is still taking RAM. It's using a little bit of processing power. Menu, games. Minecraft Pi, start, and we'll create a new world. Now, if you're running from an older SD card and you've ever tried to open up Minecraft Pi, building the terrain takes forever. So, yeah, this will, you know, the Raspberry Pi doesn't have USB 3.0 ports, but 3.0 is compatible with USB 2.0, and the drives are a lot faster on you know, a 2.0 port than a regular 2.0 USB drive. But everything runs smoother, everything is more stable, and I really, really love running from a USB drive. That's it, guys. You have Raspbian running on your Raspberry Pi. Hopefully from a faster USB drive than your SD card was. And um, you'll have way better performance from launching applications to the boot time to opening up web pages is just so much different, you know. And this is a stock this is a stock clocked CPU on a Raspberry Pi 3. I usually run my Raspberry Pi 3 at 1350 megahertz, which is only a overclock of 150 megahertz. But with the extra USB speed, it really performs amazingly. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below or send me a private message. Everything we use today, all the links are in the description. I have a text file that you can follow along with, and you should be able to be running from a USB drive in less than 15 minutes, guys. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe.